Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing part two of our homeschool spaces tour. I don't know what to call it. This is just my next tour of another space that we use mostly for homeschool. And it's our homeschool studio tour. I am so excited for this space. Um, it's been coming together over the last several months. It is not done yet, but it is a very, very good start. It really solved a major problem that I was having with my little creators. I really want to create an environment in my home that gives them space to make and space to make messes and create. And um, I'm a very, very tidy person. So um, having all the little cut pieces of paper and tape and paint and glue all over the house, um, it was really com becoming quite challenging. So I talked it out with my husband and I decided that the garage area was the perfect space to kind of create a little studio environment for the kids. Um, I want them to be as creative as possible. I want them to use paint. I want them to use glue. I want them to use scissors. I want them to use um, recyclable materials to make. I want them to use batteries and motors and all of that other stuff. I want them to use cameras. So um, if you don't already know, I am actually a photographer. So I have a lot of camera equipment and I wanted them to have more access to those things but when you have all of your equipment hidden away and stored in different spaces it's hard for them to have access to it so one of the biggest things for me in creating an environment for my kids to explore and kind of do their own thing is to have our resources and materials available to them to access on their own with permission of course so I try to keep everything within their reach and I find that keeping things neat and tidy is more likely if everything has a place. So by extending the space that we use for our homeschool materials out into the garage space and calling it a studio, it just created more space for me to create a place for different things like duct tape and uh, plastic bottles and paper towel tubes just anything that they would need to be able to create if they have an idea. So that was kind of the vision that I had behind clearing out and making a space for a homeschool studio. I absolutely love it, okay? So I'm really excited to see how it's going to come along and how the kids are going to use the space and what they're going to create in the space. So I'm just going to show you that room tour now. The first thing that we have displayed in our homeschool studio is our vision board. We use the whole wall that's opposite of the garage door to fill it up with some of the things that we are dreaming for. The next space is the kids space. It is just pegboard up on the left side of our garage space and it is perfect for holding all of our loose parts, our glue, our tape, our cardboard, our paintings. It's just a great place to hold um, all of the different materials and bits and pieces that we can use to create. I wanted to include a spot for a few makerspace books, um, things to just give them some inspiration if ever they are lacking and need a little jump start. We've got loose parts all over the area. There's really space for everything. all of their paints out and then tools that are available for them to use with supervision of course. We've got glue guns and lots of paint brushes and note cards for taking notes. 
I think this space really turned out so great. We got simple tables and chairs from Ikea as well as paper rolls. It really couldn't have turned out better. Because it's a garage space, it gets pretty hot in here in the summer, so of course we have to have a fan going. On the opposite side of the studio space, we have my office space and our family business shipping station. <laughs> this is where I edit. Um, this is where the kids come and help me read orders and fill orders. Just a nice little space that I can kind of feel like I am stepping out of the house to go off to work and the kids and my husband can do the same. So we just keep it nice and simple for now. I'd love to add some more storage in the future. I also wanted to have a spot for me to be artistic right alongside of them. I just imagined that I would be able to get my work done and right next to me they would be doing the same. It has a little spot for my camera gear and for my planner. And then we have little bins that are starting to hold our collection of goodies for shipping and packaging our teas from the Falco Kids. Right next to my desk, I have a little rack that holds um, some of our teas for now. And yeah, that is our little homeschool studio space. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.